In this video, we'll talk through the email reports that are available in all brand and industry group pages within the MailCharts app. While this overview section is the only available report to free users, this page contains a lot of aggregated insights from the more advanced reports that are available to pro users. That includes recent sending behavior, emails containing promotions, as well as subject line trends. There are several report types including sending behavior, subject lines, promotions, benchmarks, and calendar reports. Many of these reports are able to be filtered by a specific time period with several years of historical data available. In the sending behavior report, pro users are able to see the sending cadence, cadence by brand, as well as most popular send day of week and send time. This report is also great for historical comparisons as you can compare historical trends year over year, as well as switch this to be daily, weekly, or monthly views of this graph. For example, if you're looking to plan your holiday calendar, the historical information can be a guide as to how many campaigns you should plan based on previous holiday periods. For this, we can look back at 2020 holiday and see, on average, brands were sending between four and five emails per week, which is something we can continue into 2021 and potentially either increase or reduce as we see fit. In the second report for subject lines, users are able to see the average subject line length, view historical data, as well as view popular and significant terms and subject lines, significant terms by a group or brand, and what significant terms are trending based on different time periods. This last section here gives a look at examples of email subject lines as well as subject line length again. The most popular terms by group or brand can give you insight into specific brands, terms that are trending, as well as the group as a whole. So for this example, looking at all birds, we can see all of the popular terms from last month's time period. Our third report highlights emails containing a promotion. Here we can also see data broken out by individual brands and the type of promotion that is being offered by percent off, dollars off, free shipping, or buy one, get one free. This is extremely helpful when planning out how much you should discount based on competitors, especially around the holidays or other heavy discount periods. This next report is newer to the MailCharts app and includes benchmark data from an industry or brand compared to the MailCharts index. The MailCharts index is comprised of the top e-commerce brands. Here we can take a look at the data from the last 90 days. We can see how a brand stacks up against other brands in terms of sending cadence, most popular send day, most popular send time, average promotional rate compared to premium brands, which is the MailCharts index, average subject line length, and mobile optimization rate. These reports are helpful when trying to compare your existing program to others in a category or to the MailCharts index. You can also filter by individual brands in this drop-down menu here. Lastly, we have the calendars report. This gives great year-over-year -year insight into the calendar and is based off of an NRF calendar for a more fair year-over-year -year comparison. We can see in this view how many brands are sending by day as well as the percentage of emails containing a promotion. Again, this is especially useful for holiday planning. So for instance, November of last year, looking at the week of Black Friday, we can kind of see the trends here in terms of sending cadence by brand and emails containing a promotion. We can also click into here to see what campaigns were sent by brand. We'll go into reports more granularly in future videos, but we hope this gives you a good sense of the reporting features available to pro users within the MailCharts app.